Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's find out exactly what is pixel aspect ratio. Now to most YouTubers shooting with DSLRs and dealing with, you know, consumer level video, you probably don't come across uh, anything other than square pixels. But if you have used an HDV camera or DVC Pro HD, then you start to get to different pixel aspect ratios. And this could lead to stretching of the screen this way, that way, whatever. So let's look at the difference of pixels and then I'll show you how it applies uh, to video. So I've just created three examples here uh, from a video exported out from Adobe Stock and I exported it one out at 1.5 pixel aspect ratio, 0 0.9 and 1.3. And these are typical uh, formats. And you can see this is not a square pixel. Neither is this one and neither is that one. They're all different. And in Photoshop, you can actually correct for that. And when you do that, When you turn off pixel aspect ratio correction, you'll see everything comes in as square. So Photoshop will temper, it will warn you too that it's not really doing it. It's just giving you a preview, but it warns you of that. So it's, it's easy to get mixed up if you're opening uh, non-square pixels in Photoshop. So let's go look at some real examples in Premiere Pro and how that works. So I'm gonna start with an HD um, sequence. So let's go look at our sequences. So when you're creating a new sequence in Premiere Pro, a lot of times you'll either make it from the, the clip itself, but if you look at digital, SS, digital SLR, like a, uh, a Canon 5D, and select one of these formats, on the right-hand side, you'll see some numbers. And these are the big ones right here. This is the frame size 1920, 1080, and the next number in parentheses is 1.0. That's a square pixel. And that's the way DSLRs shoot, with a square pixel. But if we go to some others in here, like DVC Pro HD, and let's open that up and select that. Now, even though this says here 1080p, you'll see the frame size is 1280, 1080, and 1.5. So the horizontal size of the frame is narrower, but the pixel size is wider. So the math will work out to be 1920 a frame. So this will work and act exactly like a, a typical HD 1920, 1080 frame, even though it is um, a different pixel aspect ratio. And typically you'll create a sequence for this clip that's based on this clip. You won't mix and match these, but you can. Uh, let's look at another one, which is the HDV. Again, another typical one. Remember, it's 1080p. So I'll, I'll select this one. And again, you'll see 1440 by 1080, 1.33. So I've created those three down here. Here's HD square, DVC Pro 1.5, HD 1.33. So let's grab our uh, Adobe stock clip. I picked something that had a shape and you can see this drone shot was uh, pretty accurate in giving me an easy way to see if something is stretched or not. When we've got a, a circle, we can pretty easily see when circles are starting to be stretched into uh, an ellipse. So this is a square pixel into a square pixel aspect ratio. Play this back and it works fine. Now let's go to the DVC Pro uh, 1.5 and we'll put the DVC Pro 1.5 in there. And lo and behold, that looks good and it works fine. Let's go to the HDV 1.3 and where's my 1.3 clip? And what I did was I just took the same HD square pixel and I just exported out two different um, uh, versions of this just so I could, could uh, play with them. So let's go back to the HD square and let's drag in our DVC Pro 1.5 and our HDV 1.3 and now let's play them back. Boom, 
Boom, boom. What's happening there? Well, Premiere Pro knows the pixel aspect ratio of these files, so when it drops it in, it's actually stretched correctly, but it's, it's doing that in the background because if you look at the scale, the scale is at 100%. It's just all the math is done for you. You can mix and match these. Now, if I primarily worked in DVC Pro and it was 1.5 and that was my camera and I had a couple of other clips, then I'd probably just deal with a sequence in that 1.5. So let's go back to that 1.5. And what happens if I drag the square video in here on top of this? And you can see, again, Premiere Pro treats it accordingly. So the, the square pixel on top and the 1.5, in a 1.5 sequence, it's all taken care of for you. I want to show you stretching video just in case you get to, to some kind of format that isn't correct. And you're dropping it in and it's an absolute mess. Uh, oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to show you, this is turned off in uh, Premiere Pro. It used to be on all the time. If you click on the little flyout menu here and choose preview area, if you click on a clip, you'll also see the pixel aspect ratio here. You'll see it down here too, but not all the time. Sometimes it might be missing for whatever reason, and here's a good way to check it. So now when I'm clicking, and by the way, when you click on a sequence too, you'll see, that pixel aspect ratio. So that's a useful one to have. Okay, so let's go back over to our HD. And instead of dragging in the correct files, I'm gonna drag in some wonky files. And you never make these. And you'll see they show up incorrectly. They are in fact stretched. And what I did was I created a 1920 frame size, but then I exported out a 0 0.9, which is like a, a DV quality, uh, crappy format, 1.5 and, and 1.3 of a full frame, which shouldn't happen. But what if it did happen? How do you correct this? I'm gonna show you two ways. One is in the timeline, one is in the, in the program monitor. So if you select the clip, and go to the effects and turn scale, uniform scale off, you can now scale these different. So I could scale this one up. And the newest versions of Premiere Pro, uh, Pro allow you to click inside and hit the up and down arrow. And when you're hitting the up arrow, you're moving at one uh, increment, so that's 1%. If you add the control key on Windows, command key on Mac, then you'll move at a 10th so you can get closer. And I just have, instead of a black background, I actually have the transparency grid turned on just so I could see the uh, edge of that. So now with that command control up, um, to me it's disappearing right there. So that's 109.9 .9 for that one. And we could do the same for this one and the same for the other one. or let me show you a different way to do that. So let's go back and we'll correct that back to 100%. So I've got these three pixel aspect ratios that are all wrong. I want to correct them. Over in the project bin, if you right click, choose modify, interpret footage, you can see it's using the pixel aspect ratio from the file, but if I can, come in here and change it from here to square pixels, this one, which is these 0 0.9, watch what happens, click, boom. It fixes it exactly correct as if it was imported correctly. Because remember, these are not correct files. They're the wrong frame size, but the right pixel aspect ratio. Now, if we do it to the other one, let's do the 1.5, same thing. And if I had a hundred of these to fix and they were all the same, I could select a hundred, right click and interpret. But here I've got three different formats, so I have to do them one at a time. So same thing here, set this to square, boom, and it fixes it over there. And the 1.3, modify, square, boom. So all of those are fixed. But as I showed you before, 
Um, if your files are correct, uh, and something like the DVC Pro has square pixels, but it also has the correct frame size because cameras won't make the wrong size. Cameras are going to do the right thing. They'll shoot the correct frame and they'll shoot the correct pixel aspect ratio. But sometimes somebody could accidentally export out and give you a wonky file. And instead of you scratching your head, we can now uh, change that uh, interpretation of the footage and bring it in and drop it on the timeline and export that out. You can also fix these in the um, your export settings. You'll notice down here in the export settings, you've got the same thing here. So if I'm going out to DVC Pro um, and you'll see my output is different. So you can actually change the uh, pixel aspect ratio directly inside here, and then you'll see the output change. That's how I was able to make the wrong file uh, to export this out to a test. So what do we remember here? Most of us are gonna deal with square pixels. Uh, cameras will always do the right thing and they'll just record the correct pixel aspect ratio, but sometimes somebody will give you a file that's a problem. You've got to fix it and override that. And Premiere Pro's got some easy ways to deal with that. All right, there you go. Uh, if you're new to Video Revealed and you have found this informative, please take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description of one in the front of the channel. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get all these gobbledygook terms uh, laid out for you so they're easier to understand.